Hello everybody. So today I'm gonna demonstrate you how to find X's and O's in the tic toy tic tac toy game. So here is my MATLAB code. So here we're gonna read the image and convert into grayscale and then we find a binary image then we find the uh, <coughs> uh, connected components from that we use the properties, the region properties of uh, X's and O's in the game to determine where the X and where the O in the game. So here is my current working directory TikTok Toy Finder where I have an image Tic Tac Toy. So it just downloaded from the Google so you can download it and I also uploaded uploaded this to my MathWorks account I'll link below so you can get it there and this is my actual code and this is my simplified version this is live version which I'm gonna demonstrate you right now so let's start with that okay so here I'm taking that image reading into the variable called i and that is very big to fit onto my screen so just i am resizing it into half of its size and i am replacing that into the again into that variable now i need to convert uh, the color image into grayscale by using the function which provided by matlab rgb to gray so RGB to gray of I will convert the color three dimensional image into a uh, two dimensional grayscale image. So which I am storing into IG. Now if I want to see the image, I can see by using the command I am show. I am show of I will give you the color image. If you want to see the grayscale image, you can see by replacing this I with IG. Let me run this section so that you can see how the output look like. So you can see the output here at my, the right side of my code. This is live editor you are seeing right now, which is a new feature provided by MATLAB 2016A. So here is my image now we process this image if you want to see the uh, <coughs> grayscale image you can see as this okay this is the color image now and this is your gray image and now we are using this gray image and we are converting that into a binary image so binary image is nothing but it has only two values to represent the entire image that are 0 and 1 so I'm gonna threshold this by 175 I've used the image application <coughs> you can find here in app section so this is the image segmenter so you're gonna use this to find the best threshold value for the given image okay so now go to this and click on load image workspace and you have to choose the grayscale image as they have they are supporting only two by two matrices so these are all available and our interesting image is here ig and click on ok now it will be loaded as load image you can see that here this is the grayscale image and first you need to find a threshold value for this so click on this threshold it takes you to this page now ask it to show binary image so that you can see the binary uh, this is now in global i prefer to choose manual thresholding and I have chosen as 175 uh, which gives me the best fit you can see perfect dark lines perfect dark circles on the white surface so all the white are 
ones all the blacks are zeros but I want it differently let me do that for you now so I'm applying this okay I enclose this shoulder section now here you can see the mask inversion so by clicking on this invert mask you can do this so now the entire background is black so that means all are zeros except zeros axis and the lines so we got what we wanted the binary image with interesting points now you can export this image to your workspace as a variable called pw1 i've already had that image there so i'm just cancelling you can click on ok to get your image on your <coughs> a workspace okay so that's all you can also do this more logical operations so you can choose an orient operation uh, generally we use open mask here so click on open mask and uh, so you can choose different shape disk so I prefer octagon so it clears the edges and uh, fills everything inside so this is a pretty perfect one uh, you can apply now so that's the uh, final one then close it and then export it you'll get the perfect image after all so that's the image what we are gonna work with now so <coughs> now take this black and white from your workspace so this is what we have done there and this is a code that can generate so you can if you want to generate code you can also generate from here you just click on it the code will be generated uh, nothing much needed this is all enough for this particular image that's the process for another image okay now <coughs> uh, let's run this and see what happens okay so run the section and see the output as we got here the same one again here so this is a programming part this is a graphical user interface part now here is the important section mm -hmm. so that here we are doing the connector component analysis on the black and white image with the four neighborhood pixels uh, you can also use eight neighborhood pixels and this function will give you a lot of properties of the given image into the structure CC so I want to see how many objects are available in the given particular image by using the CC dot num objects so if you want to see what it contains you can double click on it to see entire available data in the structure okay let me run this section and uh, so that will get everything into our workspace so run the section mm -hmm. so it has just run and shown you that there are 10 connected components so you can see this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 mm -hmm. and this entire uh, hash symbol you can see here uh, let us zoom that as a hash <coughs> okay so that's one so all 10 but we want only zeros and x's keep that in mind and now we're gonna do processing so <coughs> so now there's a connected component analysis and region properties region properties is a function uh, will give you a lot of properties of the region like area bonding boxes for the particular object and the eccentricity and the solidity and the orientation and all so many properties are there you can see them I'm gonna show you that okay so this is what I've given name for it tic-tac toy data 
so it's a 10 by 1 structure element so it consisting of fields area centroid bounding box uh, maximum major axis length and minor axis length essence eccentricity orientation convex hull image area image field image and a lot so you can see them all here and you can use which is uh, more promising okay so now that's all we got but I found the two interesting properties of the this image so they are Euler number and area okay you can see here you can see the Euler numbers are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, one one so let me show you how I ended up for choosing Euler number and area okay let's go to apps again and now this is time we're gonna choose this image region analyzer we click on it and now load the image from the workspace now this time that's a black and white image okay click on it so now here is your image with the same properties what we got there so this is the same function the region props do and this is a graphical user interface you can see and you can play with it so I'm gonna apply some filters so that I can filter out some unnecessary components out of my image so let's go here and so you can see here this is having the most area than all other that means it might be this not this okay let's do that and I'm gonna reduce this area so that it has eradicated from my image now okay that's f one thing I can eliminate the hash or the lines out of my image I'm now left with zeros and x's in this I'm gonna add one more property you can see here so these are all different properties uh, all are nearly connected nearly nearby values 79 79 90 80 87 so these are a bit higher than the 70 numbers but uh, pretty much closer so I'm gonna use this Euler number guy so this guy is interesting with zeros and ones it m he may help us in this particular thing okay now what I'm doing is I'm gonna reduce this to 0 0.95 now what I'm left with is, is only zeros now see the magic again so if I go for more than 0 to 1 I left with the excess that means the regular number for the X is 1 you can see here and you will remember for the zeros is 0 okay that's the idea of what we gonna uh, grab from here okay now you can export this image but we don't have any use with it now let's close it and use the idea to uh, program it okay so uh, I'm going to take Euler numbers into TN variable and area into T area. So I have two variables with Euler number and area. Okay, now, <coughs> yeah. So here is a section comes. So I'm gonna store my color image into a variable. So I'm gonna use that again. And I'm just opening a figure empty figure box and I'm running the loop from 1 to 10 so we have already seen the CC number of objects are 10 okay now I'm just taking one by one area of the TA and this okay so the T area is calling 1 into TA 1 into T seconds into this second into this and then we're gonna do some conditional operations and 
uh, assign these values okay so the thing is we have already observed that the area should be less than this to eliminate the hash okay the line so other than zero cent axis okay so that's the first condition what we're gonna use now we have the Euler number idea that's if it is one that is x if it is otherwise that is zero obviously there are two values one and zero so if one x otherwise that is o okay now feed it feed it let's insert the object annotation on i2 that is my color image you remember that's not my gray image or uh, black and white you can choose any one of them that's up to you and i'm gonna put a box around it rectangle box but using the bounding box of the region properties and the shape shape is nothing but the value what i'm assigning here the shape is x or o and i'm drawing in the color blue that's it that's the line it all tells about it so i'm going to show rgb and i'm going to title it pause for five seconds to see what's happening and hold on because uh, you have to see them all not only for the last one okay so i do is rgb i'm updating the i do with this value so so that uh, the image is updated with already annotated image okay so this is holding on the image and at the end and then i'm holding off that's all that's we're gonna run now and see what will be the output so it's running the loop you can see here and here is the output so these are zero zero sorry o o o o and this is x x x x x okay here we go so that's how we can do we can find the o's and x's in the tick toy tick -tock toy game by using matlab uh, image processing and computer vision so this is pretty much interesting it saves you a lot of time it it is very easy to use these apps here uh, to understand the image and find the best solution to um, find the results for your problem so thank you for watching if you like the video please click the like button please do subscribe for more such videos thank you so much